Hey guys, uh, so we're going to do things a little bit differently today. I'm actually going to keep my camera off because there's really no need to since all of this truly is going to be uh, something that's done in our specific accounts. Uh, today we're going to go over how to schedule an individual exam and then also how to reschedule an individual exam. Uh, we get asked that quite a bit. Um, so the page that I'm on right now, this is the exam scheduler link. Um, I will post the URL actually in the comments section. No matter how you purchased your exam voucher, whether it's something you added um, from Red Hat Learning subscription, you purchased it as an um, a single or individual uh, purchase or you purchased it through a course exam bundle, this is the page that you will go to to access your exam voucher. Um, as a side note, I am in North America and in Canada. That is my geo region. So if you are outside of that region, um, this may look slightly different for you. But right now I have my page pulled up. This is the exam voucher that is currently linked to my account. It's the EX294 exam voucher and my expiration date, as you guys can see, is going to be May 8th. So I'm going to simply click the tile. It again is going to tell me what my expiration date is. So no shocker there. I'm going to select the country that I'm in. And then it's going to give me two options. With the individual exam voucher, you're going to have two options as far as how to take it and where to take it. Um, you one will have the testing center, which is where you're going into a third party uh, testing center that will allow you to take the Red Hat classes. Um, right now we are in the middle of COVID, so that is impacting some of those uh, testing centers, uh, whether they are open or shut. So if you have one that's near you, that's open, um, by all means, click here. However, the majority of people are having to do it remotely or online. So we are going to click the remote button and it's just saying, hey, you're in the, the United States. It's going to say before you can book it, it is going to ask you for um, a, a US ID. The reason it does that is when you go to take the exam, it is going to ask you to show your ID. So you want the name on the exam voucher to match the name on your license. So for example, I go by Nikki. So if my driver's license says, or my passport or whatever says Nicole, I do not need my exam voucher to say Nikki. They will not allow me to take the exam. Um, we're just confirming the time zone that I am. And then again, it'll ask me to confirm the country. I'm going to hit continue. At that point, what it's going to do is it's going to pull up what they call the active calendar. Now this is a live calendar, so it will constantly change. Um, please also note that the times are shown as a 24 hour clock. This has thrown off a lot of people. Uh, Red Hat though, if you guys Remember, we are a global company, uh, so we are offering pretty much time slots around the clock. Um, we've had a lot of issues where people are clicking one here instead of 1300, and they're being slotted for a 1 a.m. 1 a.m. class versus 1 p.m. class. Just again, be aware of that. Um, on this page, you'll see that some of the time slots are grayed out, and then some are blue. The grayed out ones means they are completely booked. Um, the blue ones means that you can book um, those time slots. I have a lot of questions about that because for a while there, Red Hat was completely booked up until the first week of March uh, for exam slots. And a lot of people were confused as to why they couldn't click. Um, it's because these time slots are booking up very, very quickly. Uh, so if you have a time a limit or a timeline as far as when you want to take your exam voucher, I would not drag my feet um, on getting that time slot booked. Um, Red Hat did this week go in and add 20% more time slots, which is why there are some available here. However, I don't know if they'll be able to keep doing that because it is 100% based on proctor availability. Um, I'm going to go into March just because I don't want to be greedy with a time slot and take one that's coming up for someone um, that's trying to get it booked. So I'm going to go here to Monday, March 15th. I'm going to go down to 11 a.m. I'm going to click it. 
um, it's going to give me a couple of different time slots. I like the 1130. So I will click that. It's going to ask me for a phone number. Uh, okay. It's also going to ask me to agree to the terms and conditions. Before you press that agree button, please read the terms and conditions. I know they're not fun. It's not like a, you know, action novel. They're kind of boring, um, but they give you the exact rules as far as if you don't show up, if you need to cancel, if you need to reschedule, it's going to give you all of those timelines. Um, so make sure that you know what you are agreeing to. If you are taking an exam that requires uh, you to have a prerequisite uh, certification. For example, this is the RHCE. Um, I should have an RHCSA certification ID to put, put here. If you do not put the certification ID, it will not link it to your account. And while it will allow you to take the exam, your certification will not hold any weight as it did, does not recognize the um, underlining required certification. So I'm going to hit reserve and it's going to say, whoop, whoop. Hey, congratulations. You have scheduled your exam and I'm going to hit okay. And then I'm, it's going to automatically put me back on this page. It's going to give me still the option of clicking on my tile. Right now you can see that it is scheduled for March 15th at 1130. If I want to reschedule it, I'm going to simply click on the tile. It's going to have me go through my same steps. So I'm going to pick my country. And then it's going to give me either the cancel option, the reschedule option, or if I want to, instead of taking it remotely, if I want to try for an actual testing center, it'll give me that option as well uh, to reschedule it. I'm going to click, uh, simply click the reschedule button. Again, this screen should be very, very familiar um, to us. It again is going to confirm like, hey, right now, this is when you're scheduled to take your exam. Here's your expiration date. I'm going to hit continue. Again, it takes me back to this calendar and then I can simply click whatever um, new date that I want it to. If I want to go back to, to my main screen, I'm just going to go to the exams scheduled. It's going to say, are you sure? Yes. And then because I don't want to be greedy and take up a time slot, I'm going to go ahead and go in here and cancel my time slot. Um, I'm going to hit cancel. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. So when you are in here and when you're looking at reschedule, uh, please be aware of the time frame that you have to reschedule. Um, if you try to cancel or reschedule outside of that time frame, you will forfeit <laughs> your exam voucher, uh, meaning it is voided. You won't be able to, to reuse it. So you definitely want to be aware of that. Um, so guys, I'm going to go back to my screen. I am going to stop sharing and I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye.